you know, I'm a fairly patient person, but sometimes this game gets frustrating. Ah, my desk! Loaded back in, it was in kinds of all weirdness. I deleted a part to try and see if that would release it. It has not. It is just all kinds of messed up. So, I'm going to have to probably just break my desk down, because it doesn't even go back. It's not even attached to that bearing anymore. It's very, very bizarre. But, uh, clearly... I'm going to need to re completely redesign this, and hopefully redesign it in a, in a way that isn't likely to cause the game to have an aneurysm when it next loads. Ah, oh, see? Really? Really? Do you need to be like that game? Ah, uh, you're lucky I enjoy playing you so much. I wouldn't take this nonsense for many other games. Ah, there we go. I'll have to redesign my whole desk. Kind of annoying, but oh well. Again, fortunately, I'm fairly patient. Also, that desk is awesome, and if anything deserves being redesigned, it's that. This door, though, this door's really starting to get on my nerves. Go on, fix yourself. Or don't. I guess I'll just have to delete the wall. I thought I'd actually bring you back just to show the rigmarole I go through in order to get everything set up prior to recording. Uh, okay, there we are. Are you now working? Yes! Okay. We have success. Now, there are certain ways that you can build things in this game that will tend to make them less likely to break. As you've seen on my scissor lift, that hasn't broken. <laughs> this one, though, yeah, this is this is basically what I log into every day. Uh, to say that I, I don't look forward to it, it would be a huge understatement. Okay, there we go. Re oh, really? You were almost right. Go on. Come on, pretend, pretend that you work properly. Come on. You can do it. You'll fix yourself eventually, I'm sure of it. Go, 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 go. Legs. Come on, legs. Get out of the floor. Get out of the floor, you stupid leg. Oh, dear. See, when bits of it get stuck in the ground like that, there's no easy way of me deleting it. That leads to Avak being a very sad panda indeed. Uh, I'm going to have to break it all down, aren't I? Game. While you do this. The other unfortunate thing is that while it's like this, it's basically got, like, no FPS. Come on, once more. You could do it. If not, I'm going to go to a different world to do my build today. This is your only warning. I don't think it cares. Yeah, I think it's just taunting me now. Fine, whatever. You win. I'm leaving. I'm not going to abandon this base, obviously, but uh, that is going to be something for me to do off-camera, rebuilding all of that. Oh, my lord. But I figured that since a couple of people have been mentioning that they have some trouble in the game with things like that happening, I realized that by me not showing that I have those same problems as well, it might have led people to the conclusion that I don't have those problems. Um, it's not just that I don't record them, it's that I don't have them, and that their game is somehow bugged in some way. It isn't. It's fairly par for the course, unfortunately. I wish it weren't, but alas. It's kind of the same thing with having vehicles with lots of suspension. If you do, then you've just got to be prepared for massive FPS lag, because it's going to be pretty horrific. Uh, my FPS is not improving, despite being pretty far from the base now. Mm. Damn it. Why do you do this to me, lifts? You're giving me a fear of building lifts. I already had a fear of lifts, thanks to Mass Effect and its stupid loading screens. But now you're actually giving me a fear of lifts breaking my games. This is not a good place for me to be. I like building lifts. They're fun. They're also challenging in many, many ways. But you're just taking all the fun out of it, you silly game. Right, well, since the FPS isn't improving, I'm going to do today's build in a blank world. I shall see you there in a moment. Okay, here we are, a nice pristine flat world where the FPS are unbothered by large glitchy lifts or suspension. Oh, I see why so many other people playing the game tend to do all of their builds in a flat area. Now... The build for today is something that has been requested quite a lot, honestly. That is, we're going to be making a flat pack car, or, or along those lines, I suppose. Now, as with any of my builds, I don't like just making something too simple, too 
bog standard. I could easily make a very flat car, though there is one caveat, and I, I want to cover that specifically. Uh, let's just build this out a little bit. Uh, let's build it out a fair chunk, actually. Now, that is that when it comes to building a flat car, you can never be that flat, simply because that, is, that, that height is, is more or less enforced. You can't have it shorter than that. So, it's not going to be entirely flat. There simply isn't a way for me to do that, but it's going to be fairly compact, or at least it's going to be compact in the height um, regards, except for this area. Now, as I said, there is going to be a little bit more than just a flat-packed car, because that that is, even with that caveat aside, you can make a very, very uh, low-profile vehicle, but I want something a little bit more. So, I'm going to be putting bearings on the front and the back, and I'm just going to uh, discuss this bit specifically. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm interested to know whether anyone can guess what my plans are just from seeing those bearings. This vehicle is gonna have six wheels. That's a, a little bit more of a clue to you. And my goal is to make a vehicle that is very capable of adjusting to the terrain that it's on. Those are the only clues I'm gonna give you and I'm gonna get back to uh, building this vehicle with its passengers a seat because you know, I don't wanna be on my own all the time. I, I wanna be able to invite my friends along to check out my sweet, sweet ride. In fact, I might even give them a control seat just, you know, in case I'm a bit tired and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I don't feel like driving. You take the wheel. Oh, you've already got the wheel. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll just transfer control over to your side and I'll go to sleep because it looks like this, this seat can recline quite epically, or at least I hope so. If that's not just like some sort of bolted bracket. I like to imagine that can retract and you can basically lie down. That would be a comfortable ride indeed. But I will get back to the building and I will speak with you again soon.
Okay, I think I'm done with my <laughs> not quite flat pack car, but it will fit into a fairly small space, even if not quite as small uh, in terms of the X and the Y. It's definitely a fairly low car. Right, let's see if it can transform neatly. Hopefully it does. There we go. Fairly small space, all, con all things considered. You could actually have a f uh, quite a, a small little garage slot to uh, park this in. And in fact, I've got an idea of a little special garage for my flat pack cars in the main world. And yes, I will be having to go through all of the effort to put this into my regular world once I've fixed the lifts and everything else. But uh, let's see if this can actually drive. Let's see. Can it go? Uh, it's not particularly good. Largely, I would suspect, because these need slightly more adjustment. I need them to come up just a tad more, I think, on each side. Just to reduce the ground connection there. Uh, let's pull that back just slightly. If you hold down shift, you can adjust the degrees a little bit more accurately. So let's go with 8 degrees there. There we go. That'll probably be a little bit better. And exactly the same on this side. So we want 8 degrees on both. There we go. Now, unfortunately, that is a little bit too aggressive. So let's pull that back down to perhaps 5 on both instead. So this is going to be a little bit of tweaking to get these exact angles right. But the idea is that... As you can probably already tell, we've got articulated body sections. So, ideally, this is going to be able to go over an even terrain fairly easily. Now, obviously, I'm in a flat world. Should have really thought about that one, shouldn't I? Oh, well, let's uh, see about just making some little uh, obstacle coursey type stuff for this to go over. And we'll see how that goes. Let's make some little hills on each side that should affect the vehicle as we're driving through. There we are. It's going to be very slapdash, this. There we go. We'll give it a proper test in the main world when I rebuild it there. But I even like the, the, the lights fold as well. For some reason, I quite like that. Oh, I need to adjust those real lights so that they're pointing down normally, or up, perhaps. Yes, let me get that done, and then we should be ready for a quick demonstration. So we want the lights pointing down, there we go, and there we go as well. Those are five and six over here, and we want them to turn up, so I just turn those around. There we go. Let's see the real lights turn up. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go. Not a particularly high speed, but it can turn quite nicely. Ooh, that is a little bit bad for the main wheels. Ah, oh, no. I think I need a little bit more engine power more than anything, honestly. Let's pop that up a little bit more. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and connect the rear wheels. You'll notice that I've got the rear wheels also steering, but steering in opposite directions so that it'll aid the steer on the front. There we go. That's a bit better. Perfect. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, is this going to flip if I go full whack? Um, a little bit. But generally, it's actually managing to remain fairly steady. Let's see it turning. Does not want to tip. That is good. A little stabilizer wheels on the suspensions on the side there, helping out. And over we go. Okay, that actually works quite well. I like it. It's it's kind of a little spider car. A folding spider car. Oh, that's glorious. I like it a lot. And we can navigate these hilly sort of areas because of the way the rear and the front articulate. Oh, I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. Drat. Hmm. What I need is some sort of stabilization arm. I can probably build something underneath that can do that. That can sort of just... Prevent it from flipping completely? Hmm. You know what? I could make some sort of activated arm, but there's a much, much, much easier way of doing that. And I'll do that now. So all we're going to need to do is just have 
these building up a little bit and probably let's see we'll grab these is there anything I can use to just kind of cap it off at the end uh, maybe right so what we'll do is something along these lines we'll place these down and we'll build a slight balancing limb going straight across that might actually be all we would need to do let me just get up there I'm not entirely sure though let's pop a bolt there just to make sure it creeps over the edge in fact that is a little bit too far back let's move that forward let's flip you around or oh, not wrong way there we go that should allow this to to rotate a reasonable amount but prevent it from flat out flipping up we'll see it's gonna be hard for me to replicate that though because it's not easy for me to make it flip but that should work let's give it another try okay there we go legs deploying let's see if it can still turn well enough yes it can it looks like it but it's gonna prevent it from ever flipping all the way around there we go Oh wow, this thing can really turn if it wants to. I'm actually quite impressed. <laughs> Considering I was only doing this because people have been begging me to make some sort of flat folding car for a while. I really didn't have that much hope for, or really much of an idea going into this build of what I was going to make. But I think this has actually turned into a fairly good little vehicle. I'm reasonably proud of it. Oh, flipped my head. Never mind, as we've already established, I breathe through my feet all good some sort of self-writing mechanism might be nice but where on earth would I stick it on this thing um, you know what I could have a self-writing arm right here just built to flip us up uh, yes though how I would put it together is a big question um, but I do like the idea of a self-writing arm you know what yeah let's let's go ahead uh, stop build a self-writing arm and then I think I'm going to call this build more or less complete. Um, da -da -dum. How will I do this and have this balanced? Ooh, that's a bit of a question there. Hmm. Okay, that's not actually going to work as I had hoped. Ultimately, what I need is for one of... I might have to go back to having one as a passenger seat. I'll think about it. Self-writing is not that big of an issue right now when I can just pull out my lift and we're all good to go. But I hope you've enjoyed this build. I hope it may have given you some ideas for your own. If you did enjoy the episode, then do let me know in the comments what you enjoyed. And as always, if you leave a like, it'll let me know you want to see more Scrap Mechanic in the future. But until then, do take care.